Hey guys, what is going on? It is Miles here, and my goodness, I am dirt tired. It's about 11.52 p.m. I mean, it's not late for most of you guys, but it's late for me, especially when you have kids who keep you busy. My wife is in school. She has a full-time job. She loves me full-time. What am I talking about? I am tired. Mm. Anyway, this is the time for me to record this video because I have the time. I have another free Final Cut Pro plugin just for you guys. This one I think is really dang cool. It actually took me a little while to create this one because I was getting held up on some things. But anyway, this is yours for free. It is the Frame plugin. Let's go ahead and check out what it is and what it does. Now that is basically it in a nutshell. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to create some of these things. As you see, it is a title plugin. I like to create them as title plugins because it's just so simple. So let me go ahead and bust one down right here. So let's just go ahead and recreate what I just uh, accomplished right over here and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So instead of just having this straight frame shot, you can go ahead and kind of customize it to whatever fits your project. So I just go over here to my width. I add a keyframe to, you know, at the start of this clip, whatever you want, but I added it there. I went into about maybe half of the clip and I just made that come in more of a, like a square. And so this is, this is what it looks like. So it's pretty simple. And then uh, what I did, I made it come out. So I went um, a few more frames in uh, and then I added another uh, keyframe to that. And I went a few more frames and just took that all the way back to zero. And so this is what it looks like with those two clips. So that comes in to a nice square and then it starts to open back up as the clip is transitioning. So I thought that was a kind of a cool feel. Now when it hits there, I'll go ahead and drag it out a few more frames, add a keyframe to my height, because I want it to come in just a little bit. Uh, and then I'll go in just a little further. And again, if you don't like the way it looks, you can always go back and redo it. But I will just drag that out just a little bit and we'll see what that looks like. So that opens back up. And now my height starts to come in just a little bit. And so basically I'm going back and forth uh, with this. So once that close it or closes right there, I'll go in a few, uh, a few frames. I'll add another keyframe over here and to, you know, the liking, I'll just open that uh, back up. So you can go further, you can go shorter. Uh, but you see that opening back up and then for the color over here uh, really what I did is just same thing these are all keyframes so this is uh, you don't have to use a keyframe uh, to add color to the background you can just select whatever color that you want um, 
but for me as I was showing you the different colors instead of it just popping to each color uh, how I was doing it just like this instead of it just popping to each color uh, I just keyframed it so uh, for instance it's on black I will keyframe it go in just a few frames and then I drag my um, uh, cursor down to you know let's just say this purple color then again I'll go in another few frames over here I'll select a different color let's just say this orange and just do that over and over basically so um, and then end on black and so this is what you end up with so it's just a nice subtle transition to each color <laughs> which I think is pretty dang amazing. And then also um, my skill. So I keyframed that, so I found a good spot. Uh, I selected a frame, moved in a few frames, and then just kind of moved it down a little bit. Um, like right there, and so. And so when that was done, I know I had these in reverse, but just keyframe that in. Pretty cool. And again, with the looks, it says looks. I uh, use my drop down, and there's six different looks that I created. So here's look number one, uh, number two. And as you see over here, you actually see some of the film grain in here. Actually, let me reset this so you don't see. Uh, let me reset that so you don't see all that. Boom. There you go. So you see some of the film grain in there too, depending on what. You see some of those hairs in there. Um, <laughs> you can see some of that. It's just more of a vintage look um, on some of these. So, And then this is what it looks like without. So this is what the original clip looked like. Um, if you go over here to any of these clips, this is the original clip, original clip. Uh, and then you just um, select your look, whatever you like. So if you don't like any of these presets that I've created for you, just go over here to your looks, select none, and then you can go ahead and color grade it and add your own awesome LUTs or whatever <laughs> you will uh, to this. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I really do hope that you guys like this plugin. Took a little longer than I anticipated when creating it, but you know what? Sometimes that's just how things go. But again, it is yours for free. The link will be in the description. And if you haven't caught any of my other free plugins, go ahead. There's a playlist that you can go ahead and check out. You can check out anything else on my channel. Basically everything is free. There's countdown clocks, there's scripture lyrical videos, and uh, plugins just like these. Well, again, I'm sorry that I am exhausted right now. I will be a little more peppy in the next video. But until then, be blessed and have a wonderful week.